Hello and happy Halloween! In this video I'm going to show you how I created this pumpkin decor. For the witch's shoes I actually used a coloring book page for the side panels and I created the other pieces by trial and error. For the side panels of the shoes I cut two pieces out per shoe out of this knit material. This pointy piece right here will actually be from the bottom of the heel to the middle of the heel on the back of the shoe. And the second piece will be the sole of the shoe. It goes from the bottom of the heel on the underneath all the way to about the front of the shoe close to the pointy bit. And then a little square for the heel piece. And I cut one piece per shoe. To put the shoes together, I sew the two side pieces together at the top of the shoe. And then I will take my shovel piece and I will pin that from the bottom of the heel from the underneath all the way until it gets to the pointy bit. And I will do this to the both sides of the shoe. And then I will sew up the back seam to about four inches down from the top. And then it's time to sew on the back pointy piece. And with that, the shoe is almost done. Just got to put the little square at the bottom of the heel. With all those pieces together, turn the shoe right sides out, and then I go ahead and stuff it with polyfill.
since this is made with a knit material the heel does kind of get a little out of whack but I will be actually taking it on a dowel that will help keep its shape as well. To cover the dowels and make it more witchy-like, I found these door hangers from the Dollar Tree that are the perfect size and length for the stockings. So I just cut the stockings off of the door hangers and I am unpicking the felt shoes off the stockings. I do go ahead and actually sew up the long side of the stockings because they were still a little bit too wide. And then I will hand sew the stocking and the top of the shoe closed. And that's the base of the shoe, and I just set those aside because I'm going to work on the witch's hat. For the witch's hat, all I did was cut a circle for the brim with a hole in it, and then a cone for the crown. I did use a smaller version of my witch's hat pattern that I created a couple years ago. If you like to see the video for that, I will leave the link for that video down below. For the brim of the hat, I do cut two pieces so I can sandwich some interfacing in between them. In the brim of my hat, I did have a slit down the middle to kind of give it a little bit of shape when I sew it. So here I'm just sewing that seam together. To create the brim with the interfacing, I take the interfacing and I pin it to one piece of the brim and I go ahead and iron this interfusible interfacing onto one piece of the brim. And then I'll take the second brim piece and place it on top and then sew along the edge. Fold the brim right sides out.
And then with the cone, I will go ahead and sew the side seam up, and then I will attach that to the rim. And with that, we have a tiny witch's hat. And I do stuff this with polyfill as well. Now to finish the shoes. I take some fun foam and I create a buckle and some leather straps for my shoes. And I do paint these all gold. Now it's assembly time. I do use my hot glue for everything, including the straps on the shoes. And I'm just going to let the video play out here because it's just attaching a whole bunch of decorations to the shoes and then my ribbon and everything to the pumpkin.
And with that, the pumpkin is done. It came out really, really cute. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time. Happy Halloween!